Hi there, yoga friends. Jen here. Today's yin flow helps us remember the gentle purpose within. Let's get started. Our first posture today is the seated butterfly. Take the soles of the feet together. Come back onto the sit bones. Give yourself a nice little wobble from side to side so that you feel nice and firmly planted here. We can take our hands here to the tops of the thighs and just gently press them towards the floor if that feels okay for you. A sense of lifting up here through the spine. And then we'll take our hands here just to wrap around the ankles. Again, you can rock the hips from side to side here or maybe butterfly the knees. And we're gonna draw the palms towards the hips. And as we do that, we're gonna bring another arch into the spine. So a sense of drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, lifting up through the heart. And then we're gonna take the elbows here to the inner legs, and then just gently press them towards the floor. Bowing forward here with a flat back, going as far as feels comfortable for our bodies, and then lowering the gaze so that we have length for the front and the back of our neck. I invite you here to gently close your eyes and move deeply or more deeply into the posture as your body feels willing and able to move. Start to take some deeper and smoother breaths here, cultivating the sense of peaceful and easiness within the body. As we allow the mind to follow this smooth and deep flow of our breath, we redirect the focus away from the worldly things, imaginings of the future or relivings of the past and allow ourselves to live more fully in this moment. So go ahead and just take another five to six breaths here, softening forward in between the legs. If you like now, you can drop your chin towards the sternum and maybe bring a bit of a C's curl to your spine. And really nice soft breaths here. Allowing those knees to drop open. Last breath in here. We'll take the palms to the floor and slowly curl up through the spine. Come back to your tall seat. And we're gonna take our hands here just around the shins. So um, you can keep the hands on the shins or if you've got the capacity to do so, take hold of one of the wrists. We're gonna take a breath in and just arch the spine, lifting the chin towards the ceiling and drawing the shoulders away from the ears. And as we exhale, we'll gently curl the spine, tuck the chin down, draw the navel back. Take one more breath like that, moving in time with your breath. And then we'll release back to center and take our hands behind us. Now I want you to turn your fingers in the same direction as your feet. Draw the shoulder blades back, lift up through the heart. Keep your left foot on the floor here, but pick up the right. Press that right heel here onto the left upper thigh, and we're gonna gently press that right knee away from the right shoulder. Draw your right toes here towards your shin, and then we're just gonna lift up through the heart and take a couple of breaths, maybe raise the gaze if that feels okay for you. Take three more breaths here. Should feel quite nice for the outer hip. If you want, you can gently bring some movement, just gently rolling the hips right to left. Last breath in here. Release that top leg. 
take it back to the floor and we're going to windshield wipe our legs from right to left. So this is just freeing up those odor glutes, the inner hips, as well as opening up through the heart center and also giving a shoulder, uh, shoulder stretch here. So bring the knees to point back to the ceiling. The right foot stays on the floor this time. We'll pick up the left and again, press that left ankle into the upper right thigh. Draw the left toes towards the shin. Press your left knee away from your left shoulder and actively draw your shoulders back towards each other here. Take the gaze as high as feels comfortable for you, maintaining a sense of length for the front and the back of your neck. And again, we'll just take four or five breath cycles here and you can stay in stillness or you can gently rock the body from side to side, whichever feels best for you. Really slowly, we're going to release that left leg. And again, we're gonna windshield wipe the legs from right to left. We'll come now and take the legs wide. Just as wide as you feel comfortable here. We'll start by pointing the toes towards the ceiling, the hands behind the hips. And we'll press the palms into the floor Lift up gently through the hips, roll the top of the hips forward and then sit back down and you should feel a deeper sense of lengthening through the backs of the legs. Now we want to be able to release the hands to the heart here without falling um, the lower spine or rounding out through the lower spine here. So if you are able to just take the hands to the heart and maintain that tall spine, if that is a challenge for you, you can come to sit onto a blanket or just keep your hands either side of the hips here and use your hands to help you lift up through the spine. And if that's what you're doing, then maybe just sit tall for the rest of this practice. If you are able to sit here tall with your hands in the heart, then we're gonna take this bow forward. So we'll release the hands to the floor in front of us, keep those sit bones firmly planted onto the floor, and then just gently walk the hands away. Now we want to fold again with that tall spine and just bring the forearms to the floor. Take your gaze down as well. Length for the front and the back of your neck here. A nice lengthening through the front and the back line of the body as well as the front and the backs of the legs. As you close the eyes and bring the focus back onto your breath, we're cultivating this sense of softness within. And as we cultivate this sense of softness and ease within, we can start to feel perhaps a bit more peaceful within the body. And with that sense of peace and calmness within, we become better attuned to what it is in life as we move through life that also brings us that sense of ease and calm. So even though you may be feeling a bit of a stretch here for the backs of the legs and the front and the back line of the body, you may also be able just to find that sense of ease within the stretch. Much like life, there's lots of twists and turns and surprises along the way. And if we're able to navigate that with that same sense of peace and ease that we find on the mat. We become better navigators in life. More fully attuned to our purpose here. So let's take another five breaths here. See if you can soften a little bit deeper forward. Feeling that stretch for the inner thighs, perhaps the back. A 
last breath in here, we're slowly press down through the palms, lift up through the heart, and then draw the hands back towards your hips to sit tall. Scoop your hands underneath your knees, rock back onto the sit bones, and use the strength of your arms to draw the knees into your chest. Go ahead and give yourself a nice little curl here, hugging those knees in. And then we're going to sit tall and just come on to our back. So I'll get you to set up with your heels here underneath your knees, the back flat to the floor, sense the navel drawing to the spine. Take your palms here to the floor and draw your fingertips to that far edge of your mat. With a sense of the navel drawing back, we're gonna lift up here into a bridge position. Now I'd like for you to keep your gaze towards the ceiling here as you lift your hips as high as feels comfortable for you creating a straight line from the knees to the shoulders. We activate through the legs, drawing the knees towards each other, imagining that you're holding a block or something in between the knees. And we're gonna maintain this for the next five to eight breaths. So the palms can stay here on the floor next to the hips to support you. If you want, you can raise the hands and take them back behind you. And this is just going to give you a little bit of an extra stretch for the shoulders. You also want to make sure if you take your hands past the head that you still have this sense of the shoulders moving down the back as you reach the fingertips away. You should start to feel the legs now, the strength that you're creating through the legs. The abdominals switched on gently, the knees still drawing towards each other. Let's take another five breaths. Maybe close your eyes if you're feeling comfortable to do so. Now the top of your next inhalation, please hold your breath. And with your breath held into the chest, start to roll down through your spine, one vertebra at a time. And when your hips touch the floor, gently exhale, and then release your hands from whichever position they're in. Maybe just take them back next to the floor, gently to the hips, and we'll windshield wipe the knees from side to side. Those stronger held postures that we take help um, give the mind a focus within the body rather than an external focus, which helps calm the mind and the nervous system. So we're just gonna do one more posture here. We're gonna do a twist on either side. So what I'd like for you to do is just keep your feet hip distance apart and we're gonna drop our knees over to the left here. Your hands anywhere that feels comfortable for you, and you might start to feel a stretch here for the front of the right thigh. If you'd like to take it a little bit deeper, just place the left heel on top of your right upper thigh, and either with a neutral gaze to the ceiling or maybe to take a gaze over your right shoulder, we'll pause for three to four breaths. Release that left leg. Draw the navel to the spine. Raise the knees to the ceiling. And then we're just gonna swap sides, taking the second side. So drop the knees to the right and pause. And then we'll take that right foot to the top of the left upper thigh. Take the gaze here over your left shoulder. A couple of really smooth breaths here. Softening through the hips releasing any tension that you may be holding in the body. Release 
Place that right foot, raise the knees to the ceiling. And we're gonna roll right over, either to the right or the left side to come into a cuddle position. Let's close the eyes down. And we'll rest here, just bringing the focus back into the heart center, onto the breath. Noticing any subtle changes that may have taken place within the body, mind, or spirit during this practice. And if there have been any shifts, just knowing that your body knows intuitively how to redistribute that energy in a way that will best serve you. And press down now with whichever hand is your top hand and we will slowly return to our seat. Come back into your comfortable cross leg and we'll just take a couple of moments here, a couple of minutes to come into a seated meditation. So you may want to wiggle from side to side, sit bones firmly planted onto the floor, hands up or down on the knees with the thumb and first finger touching, or you can just gently cup the hands and maybe touch the first to the thumb and the first finger together here. So really it's just whichever hand posture feels best for you. And as you take your next couple of breaths here, I'll invite you to close your eyes. With every in-breath, a sense of lengthening through the spine from the tail to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, maintaining the length but softening through the face, the jaw, and the shoulders. You may feel comfortable here to take the tip of the tongue to touch either the gum line at the back of the front two teeth or maybe just to flip the tongue back to the roof of the mouth. We move into Ujjayi Pranayam. So I'll count you through a couple of cycles with an inhalation and an exhalation of eight seconds. You want to maintain a sense of evenness of the quality of the breath from the beginning to the end. To begin, let's exhale completely, draw the navel back. We'll breathe in, allowing the belly to puff out for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Calmly exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Calmly out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Calmly out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, smoothly in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, calmly out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, calmly out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in, but count to yourself, maintaining the same rhythm. Or if you need to uh, shorten the breath cycle, you can. If you would like to extend the breath cycle, you can, being mindful not to um, overstimulate the nervous system by straining the breath. Maintaining that tall spine on every inhalation and softening through the exhalation. You may even like to take a soft gaze into the heart center and let the counting drop away.
Notice your last breath cycle here, just returning to a natural flow of your breath. Again, noticing how you feel within witnessing subtle changes of the body, mind, and spirit. Bring the hands together here in front of our heart center. And on our next inhalation, raise your hands up towards the ceiling, reach to the fingertips. As you exhale, take your hands down to your crown and your brow, to your throat and to your heart. Om Tat Sat, Namaste. For more videos like today's, please remember to go down and subscribe to the channel, friends, and, or click on one of these videos that you see coming up next. Um, thank you for joining me on your yoga journey. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your day.